Hey, what's up everybody? This is Lightning with Lightning Game Reviews. Today I'm bringing you a very quick and dirty guide. Basically just showing you how to farm up a ton of EXP and credits here in Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Uh, show you how I do it. Well, basically show you what I got so far. Go back here to headquarters. You can see 426,000, 427,000, uh, you know, EXP, uh, over a million credits. Uh, and 6,900 Renown. Uh, to show you what we need to do to do this, uh, okay. let me show you here. We'll go to our tanks. Uh, the only two tanks we're going to be using are the Cactus and Hoffman. Um, uh, you know, I've just basically got basic sights on this. You know, nothing amazing. A couple extra magazines for, you know, the plus twos, so, you know, you can get five shots out of a, a turn. And, you know, just this right here. You know, the little small heat sink. And then just a ton of HP. And Cactus, very, very simple setup. We we'll go here. We got the two extra carriers so he can hold five. Not really useful for this one, but I keep it like that just because the Cactus has one goal, and that's to get people past the bullshit. Spring drive for the extra oomph in the in the uh, get up and go basically. All right, so what we're gonna do? Uh, none of this over here matters. Let's go back here here to the book. Let's do, do, do skirmish. So the one we want to choose, this one right here, Snowbound Island. Uh, Snowbound Island is basically. It is stupid easy to win, and you can do it in four turns. Five turns. Let me show you how. So yes, the positioning of the units matter. So Dan's here, and I put my extra commander as Godwin. Uh, you can choose any of these guys. I just chose Godwin just, be just because. Um, we only need... Minerva really, but if Minerva falls, we have Godwin, and God Godwin will finish the job. Uh, at that point, we're gonna go ahead. Stop the Get past that, thing. that's useless. So basically what we want to do is we want to grab uh, the Hoffin, real quick. Pretty much ignore everyone. The only things we want to hit are these fucking heavy turrets over here. You don't want to aim too far over here because you'll hit the iceberg. So I always aim right here at the corner. It takes care of the, uh, the guy in one shot. Push forward. Exit into your turn. Push forward again. And that was easy. Still push forward. Advancing. I got held up there. You really don't want to get held up too close, but basically, it's not really matter too much as long as you can kill this guy here. You want to leave the Hoffin right here so that he is blocking the shots from the heavy AT cannon over here. Now we're gonna grab Dan. Yep, I'm on it. We'll grab Minerva, back up, grab Godwin, and move on out. Incoming! Luckily, this Grenadier is not the kind that'll take away all of your AP on a successful hit. Otherwise, this would be a much different strategy. I may be a little too far backwards, but I'm still gonna do it. Should still be able to do it. So Minerva, you're gonna get shot at by these two. Oh, that's right, you got shot at by the fucking sniper. Well, this may end in her death. I may have fucked up. That wasn't supposed to happen. 
Yeah, she's gonna die. I fucked this one up. A true display of skill. They might be soldiers after all. That's okay, I'll show you right after this. Oops. <laughs> that may kill me. Okay, so going off my recording timer, that was about three and a half, four minutes. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it correctly now. No explaining, no nothing like that. This is pure speed run here. Dan goes here, Minerva goes here, Godwin goes here. Okay, moving out. The enemy returning fire! Keep firing! They're in range. Enemy sight! There they are! Even though I still have AP to move, we can, we really want to stop right there. I see. Right there. Okay, in turn, we'll go over here to Dan. Yeah. They got you in their sight. Incoming. Now, you actually do want to turn right like I did there, because if there's room, your friendlies will always appear on the right. You have to put them just a hair closer to the condo over there. As you can see here, took very little damage. Now I stop after that blast hits. And I'm, hold I'm on PC, but I'm holding down the W button to keep running right after this. Because we want to minimize the chance of getting hit by that stupid mortar. And there you go. And that was, wow, 2 minutes and 45 seconds. One more just to show you guys once again the technique. Position units. Dan here, Minerva here, Godwin here. Again, Godwin, you don't have to use him. I honestly just put the extra in there just in case I fuck up, like I did there with Minerva. And if you fuck up, don't be all like Mr. Speedrun and abandon and whatever, because it's gonna cost you more time to abandon than, you know. It will just to finish it out with Godwin or whoever you have. It better be a scout though. Enemy 
think I'm at the wrong angle. I may fuck this one up. Nope, we're good. I don't know why I pushed that button. Yeah, yeah. Pick you up, back up barely, pick you up, two forward. Watch out! They're on to you! That uh, AT cam is hitting me, so I gotta end this one early. Moving out. Keep Let's break through their line. Federation officer, I will not fall here. If you time it right, you should be able to hit this guy right after that second explosion goes. But you want to hold down either the either thumbstick or the W key uh, to capture this ASP. There you go. Um, that one was, again, just under three minutes. We've taken the and with this method, by the time you get enough points to get yourself An upgrade to one of your caps or one of your troops. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Cause uh, I want to upgrade my grenadiers, actually. Done already. But yeah, using this method when you finally get up there. Oh, hey Chloe. I don't know why I went there, I'm going to go to the training field. Ah, done already? Six hundred seventy-eight thousand. Push yourselves. So as you can see, the next time I unlock a Paragon class for the uh, Sniper, Grenadier, or the Trooper, I'm going to have enough EXP to just bring them to level 30 instantly. Because the right there, that's that's almost enough. Done for the day. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty easy method for gaining uh, I'll, just a ton of EXP, money, and renown. Um, I was here 15 minutes, you know, I started at just under 6,000 and now I'm at, you know, or just over 6,000, now I'm at, uh, you know, 10,500. I mean, this video speaks for itself. Actually, I think it was close to 7,000. Anyways, video speaks for itself on that one. Um, this video is 15 minutes long and I'd say probably half is just me rambling. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a very easy, very quick way to just gain just a ton and it, it, it is the probably the easiest method I have found to farm if anyone knows an easier method please let me know